The scourge of PM2.5 dust has been around for years, but many still want answers as to its root causes and more importantly, what can be done about it. In an interview with Thai PBS World, Sirima Panyame Tigun, an associate professor at Environmental Engineering Department of Jalalongkorn University, helped to provide some of the answers. Sirima explained that the actual causes of PM2.5 are incomplete combustion and the use of fuel that are not environmentally friendly along with supporting factors such as meteorology, city planning, and green space. She noted, however, that the cost of PM2.5 varies by region. In Bangkok, for example, there is pollution from traffic, whereas in the north, wildfires and slush and burn practices are prevalent, while in the south, that pollution is coming from neighboring countries. As to what we can do to solve the problem, Sirima suggests that people need to focus on what they can control, which is the emission of toxic pollutants. There are also other things people can do. According to the National Agenda Action Plan Solving the Pollution Problems, Thailand focuses on three measures to address the pollution, namely boosting efficiency in area administration, controlling the sources of dust, and fighting innovations to tackle dust pollution. To control the sources, the focus is on traffic, burning in open areas, the agricultural sector, construction, city planning, industry, and households. The Thai government has recently adjusted the standard threshold of PM2.5 concentration which was done in 2022 for yearly concentrations and in June 2023 for daily concentrations. In January 2024, it also began reducing the maximum amount of sulfur allowed in fuel from 50 parts per million to just 10 parts per million. The most challenging part, however, is how to integrate technical measures, implementation and other components for example, elected laws that enhance the enforceability and adoption of effective measures. Even though collaboration from each sector is necessary, bringing such integration into action remains a challenge. Academia alone or only one or two sectors cannot officially solve the problem. Siyurima added that she sees good sides in many sectors, especially from the civil society. This helps other related sectors to drive solution faster. มันมันไม่ใช่มีเฉพาะปัญหาเอ่อฝุ่นควันเนาะที่เราเรายังมีปัญหาสิ่งแวดล้อมอื่นๆนะคะที่เอ่อสังคมไทยเนี่ยเรา